Hi friends. Since today morning I was working on making a robot using the motors and all, but unfortunately I broke up a motor and hence I would not be able to participate in tomorrow's robotic event in my college. But then I thought, let's try to dissect this thing and try to see what's inside this, what's inside this that's moving this pin. First, let me show you this normal 150 RPM motor which we use mostly to connect to the wheels of the robot. You can see the spindle moving. Something happening in the, these both boxes which is making this spindle move. The spindle is connected to the wheel which it moves and the robot moves. Let's try to open this black box and see what's inside it. This black box there you can see the black box contains the gears connected in system forming the gear train which makes which controls the speed and the torque of the motor these gears have pitch the gears diameter and pitch determines the speed and torque of the motor and again connect the leads of the battery to the leads of the motor and see try to show you what happens in this gear train here, here we go. That's some mistake. Okay. You can see the gear moving, which is finally connected to this main gear connecting this spindle. These are the gears. This box contains the gear, but what does this box contain? Now let me show you the damaged, damaged gear box. This of a 3.5 RPM motor, which I opened up as it was a waste for me and now you can see this main thing the whole core of the motor the copper windings the permanent magnet here and the armature I can show you the permanent magnet which is inside you can see the nail being stick to that permanent magnet that permanent magnet when current is passed through this the interaction of the electromagnetic field due to this copper windings and also the permanent magnet produces a field which will be which will in turn cause rotation to this axle the most important part of the motor is this commuter because it, it maintains the direction of the current in only one direction because it has split in between which is connected to the carbon brush in this fashion and as the current moves only in one direction by Fleming's right hand rule magnetic field, current and force the force always remains in the same direction this is the state of past and, and you can see in this image which I got in net just now you can connect it to this motor and see the things. Hope you like this video and I guess when the next time you see any child playing with his motor car or a helicopter you will imagine what's happening in this great thing which is making to rotate the wheels etc. Thank you. I hope you liked it.